Well, hey there, this is Bell Mathewin bringing you another snapshot video for Minecraft 1.14. Uh, we're looking at 19w04a today. They added the stone cutter functionality and uh, improved collision code. Uh, I'm not quite sure what that means, but the stone cutter is awesome. So let's take a look at that. Now, the stone cutter, it can be placed in all directions. Uh, when you place it down, it'll always kind of place sideways to you. So you see I just went northeast, south, and west. And it went with me facing the side of the blade each and every time. Uh, it is made... Let me grab a couple of these. It is made in the crafting grid with an iron ingot and three stone. There you go. And it can be used for the smooth stone, uh, which gives you, I think, the most options. I don't know why there's a slider bar, because nothing... This this actually is the one that gives you the most options. Uh, you can make the stone bricks out of it. You can also, if you make one of those stone bricks, you can make the stone brick variants off of that. So that's two ways to get the stone brick slabs, stairs, and wall. Uh, this is the and much easier way to get the chiseled stone. And uh, I'd like you to note that uh, stair, one buck, caught is equals one stair. In the old crafting recipe, it took six blocks to make four stairs. So that that actually gets you a bunch more. Six sto six blocks will get you six stairs. That's a uh, it's going to help you accumulate a whole lot more leftover stairs in your storage systems, but it'll also help make projects a little bit easier. Now for the smooth stone and the stone bricks, we have slab variants, which by the way, uh, let me show you real quick. All of the slab variations give you two for one block. Everything else is one for one. The slabs give you two. All right, so as you saw, you have the slab stair, the wall. You can actually make the stone brick out of it and the chiseled stone, all from smooth stone. Or if you've already got a bunch of stone bricks made up, you can still make the three variants just from that. Uh, mossy stone brick, slab stair wall. And for the, let me see if I can pick that block. For the granite, andesite, and diorite, you can make the slab, stair, and wall, as well as the polished diorite, which you can then cut again to get the polished variant, the polished slab, the polished stairs. For cobble and mossy cobble, you have slab, stair, wall. Uh, for smooth stone, you would think that you'd be able to get the smooth stone slab out of it, but you cannot. Uh, I'm sure that's probably something that'll be added later because uh, it seems like a, just a little oversight. You know, they're doing a lot of work over there at Mojang. Bound to miss a thing or two here and there. I mean, honestly, just, just for this one machine, they had to implement some sort of functionality for all of these blocks. I'm sure that took somebody a little bit of work. So we have sandstone. That can be made into the chiseled, the cut, the slab, stair, and wall. And uh, let me see, red sandstone. I accidentally destroyed the one that was out here. There we go. Let me uh, quickly replace that. So the red sandstone is the same is the same deal as the uh, regular sandstone, and the smooth sandstone sandstone variants give you the smooth sandstone slab and the stairs. Uh, same with the red. You have uh, nether bricks, red nether bricks, and the purple block all give you slabs and stairs 
with the nether bricks and red nether bricks giving you walls and the purple giving you a purple pillar. Uh, the end stone you can turn it into you can use the stone cutter to turn it into end stone bricks, slabs, stairs, and a wall. Uh, bricks can be turned into slabs, stairs, and wall. Smooth quartz also gets slab and wall, or sorry, not wall, stairs. But block of quartz, you can get your chiseled quartz block, your quartz pillar, and your slab and stair. All of the prismarine options also give you the uh, slab and stair option, with the regular prismarine giving you the wall option as well. And I think that might be all of them. That's, uh, that's quite a few blocks to go over in a very short amount of time. Uh, thank you, Mojang, for adding this. This seems like a win-win for all of us. With the stone cutter, you get the two slabs for one block. You get a fence for one block. You get all of these blocks only cost one of their original block, which will be super useful for expensive blocks like the red nether brick and the purper and the actual bricks, the prismarine, the quartz, all of this side of the board, you're going to end up with quite a few uh, extra laying around the base so it doesn't matter as much. But the mossy variations and then all of these blocks, they can be kind of expensive. So it's nice that you can now get more stairs per, for your blocks. But anyway, that is this snapshot. 19W04A, and thank you, Mojan, for your continued hard work on a game that you realize most people have already paid for. And uh, thank you for not charging us every time you have one of these updates. It's just a, a great community, and you're one of the few game, game developers that really puts this kind of effort into a game that has already been paid for by a lot of people without charging all these microtransactions and everything that everybody else is doing. So thank you for all your hard work. And that's all I've got to say about these. If you liked what you saw, if you learned a thing or two, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, uh, leave those down in the comment section below. But uh, like, comment, subscribe. Always interested to hear what you have to say. Come check out my Let's Play series. We're, we're approaching uh, our world tour, episode 50. Uh, I've, got an arc, I've got an arc series going. And uh, we've got other snapshot videos and tutorials on the channel already and more to come. So like, comment, subscribe. Come on by again and check out the other content I will have coming out in the future. But until the next episode, hope everyone has a good night.